Hi, this is Brian Bilal. I'm the marketing manager for Halo Recess, and I'm with Eaton Lighting, and this is the Halo Home product line. So the Halo Home smart lighting system is the first system that includes indoor luminaires, outdoor luminaires, controls, as well as accessories. So the great thing about the Halo Home system is it's a Bluetooth mesh system, so I don't need a hub, and it's ultra secure. The other great thing about the system is using Bluetooth mesh, it's got no latency. So it actually mimics the speed customers are used to seeing with traditional downlights. So we have our twin flood head plus motion outdoor light. It's a 2000 lumen outdoor flood light that can also white tune in the system. We have multiple Alexa products that actually have the trim built in. The next three are our RL trims with Alexa actually built inside of it. There are two microphones and all the Alexa hardware are inside the trim. So I can speak to the downlight just like I would if I had an Alexa on the tabletop. It still white tunes like the other recessed trims and is in the Halo Home system. We have our Bluetooth downlight and speakers where I can actually play music from the products without having the Alexa microphones. And then I have a basic twin flood head on the far side where I can do white tuning on that as well. On the far side, you'll see we also have lamps, an A19 to get decorative products, so for a coach light or a chandelier, really to continue that white tuning, uh, that story to, to get the whole home with the, with the color quality that you like. Our variable lumen recess downlight comes in a four inch or a five six. This can go up to 1200 lumens, and I can actually pre-select the lumen level that I want in my room and then dim down to 5% from that level. So everything is controlled through the free app. And from here you can see I've got the whole house dimmed, but I can change the color temperature anywhere on the black body dimming curve using the slider. We also provide presets if I want to individually change the products. Now, the beautiful thing with Halo Home as well is every single product has a Bluetooth radio in it, so each item is individually addressable. So I go back into the app, and I look at devices, and I can see every single device in my account, and I can even turn off and on individual units. And it remembers the dim level that I had it preset to. It remembers the color temperature. Outside of the luminaires, we also have controls. And you can see these controls down here are very important. We have the in-wall accessory, which really gets rid of that toggle anxiety. So with every smart home product, if you put it on a basic switch, when you kill the power, you can no longer access that light from your app or your voice or, or any other smart device. With the Halo Home accessory dimmer, I keep a trace amount of power to the product. So I could turn it off from the switch and still turn it back on from the app. So I'll go to my accessory dimmer. And I'll choose for it to control, let's say, the entire home. I'll save it. And that's how quickly all the Halo Home products commission. Now I can turn off straight from the same switch the entire home and dim up, dim down. So I'll go back to my group, the whole house off, and from the switch I can turn it right back on. Now another option inside of, instead of in-wall, I can do the same thing from our AnyPlace switch, which does the exact same thing as the in-wall accessory, except I actually have a battery-operated switch where I have three batteries on the back. I can program this just like the anywhere the any in-wall accessory to dim up dim down any light in the halo home system using capacitive touch and if i have more that i want more 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 i can actually use our scene keypad so this will do more than just on off or dim this scene keypad can actually do color tuning so i'll go to my scene keypad And as you can see, I've got four different scenes that I can save on any of my Halo Home products, whether it be a dimmer or, a, or an indoor light or an outdoor light or a lamp. So right now, I'll turn the whole home off. 
and let's say I want it, it's Friday night, it's movie night, I hit number three. And for me, movie night is a warm 2700 in dim lights, so we're ready with our popcorn to eat uh, and watch the movie. <coughs> The programming of the scene keypad is very easy. All I do is hit the pencil, and I choose either a device, a group, or a scene, very similar to that accessory dimmer. So let's say I want to choose a specific device. Let's choose the uh, maybe this plug-in lamp dimmer from IKEA. I'll choose that. I'll hit Save. I hold down this button to reprogram it, and boom, it's already reprogrammed, ready to go. So now I can hit plug-in lamp dimmers number one, and voila, plug-in lamp dimmer number one comes on. Now, these controls are great for the system because they control Halo Home products, but what if you have a product that's not Halo Home, that's maybe already in your house, or is a decorative fixture like a vanity or a chandelier? We have our smart dimmer, this one in blue. Now, this one controls it through the line load, right? So we have a third-party lamp over there, and I can go back and show you my in-wall smart dimmer here in the app can turn on that third-party lamp or at the wall your significant other could come up and turn off that third-party lamp. Now the, the other great thing about this specific dimmer is it's universal. So it does ELV loads, it does MLV, it does LED, incandescent or compact fluorescent. It, it doesn't care. It can do them all. Um, now we took this dimmer, which is in wall and it fits the standard decor plate, it's gangable, and we actually put the same components in this plug-in dimmer. Now very similarly, instead of being in the junction box, I have the same exact dimming capability for table lamps, for desk lamps, or any lighting product of that nature. Now, all of these products are Bluetooth mesh and they're local control with about a 100 foot line of sight range and they're absolutely super fast. As you've seen, when I control them there's no latency, but what if I want to control them when I'm not at home? We have a product called a bridge. Now this is just a simple device that I plug into an outlet, I put in the Wi-Fi password, and now I've got Wi-Fi access to my Halo Home system. So while I'm here in Philadelphia, or any other city around the world, I can talk to my lights back in Atlanta and, and really scare my wife when she's like, what's going on? What the bridge also gets you, because it's got that translator to Wi-Fi, are these two ladies right here, the Alexa as well as the Google Home. So I can now use this, the Halo Home skill, and I say, Alexa, turn on the garage, or Alexa, turn on the living room, and I can do that all for my voice without getting up. And then, like I, like I said earlier, what we're coming out with later this year, we took the entire Alexa product and put it behind a trim. So now, like you saw up on the top, I can speak to that trim and tell Alexa what's the weather or Alexa what's the news, and, and the, the actual trim can, can use the speaker to, to, to tell me what to do or tell me what's going on. Um, now, if, you're, if you do not want the speaker with Alexa, we also offer a basic Bluetooth speaker, which is also coming out later this year. So we've seen a lot of success with this Halo Home system. Um, one for the features I've told you, but also for the applications. So when you've got multifamily or apartments or uh, townhouses or, or really lots of properties where you don't want a hub in every single unit or every single room, this is a great solution where I can get the smart home technology and not need a hub in every single location. Halo Home is a great system that's simple, it's scalable, it's affordable, as well as very secure with the Bluetooth mesh protocol.